Hey guys, one quick announcement before we start. This ended up being a long video, so I have split it in half for you, and we will finish part two tomorrow. Hey y'all, this is Cindy. I'm the Tireless Tangler, and you've arrived at day three of our zine project based on this amazing book called Zentangled Dingbats Patterns and Projects for Dynamic Tangled Ornaments and Decorations. This is by CZT. Brian Crimmins, and he, it is an amazing book. You are going to love it. If you get it, I highly recommend it. Uh, before we get started with uh, today's design, I wanted to address something. I got a comment, um, was it Michelle? I think it was Michelle that left me a comment um, asking about the numbering that we did on the back and the placement of the folds. And so her comment was that it, hers had not worked out. Was she not, was she missing something obvious? And my answer to Michelle is no, you're not missing something obvious. This doesn't work out very well. Um, I tried it too. And quite honestly, this is, I renumbered all of mine <laughs> so that my back corner started with front corner, back corner, and then it goes page seven, page six, page five, blah, blah, blah. So my recommendation for this is to fold it and do your little um, X shape first and decide, fold it and decide which pair of pages you want to be your back cover and your front cover. And then take a pen and mark those in some way so that you know which ones they are. And then you can open it up and draw your artwork on it flattened out. So my recommendation is if, if you had this problem, and I did too because mine did not turn out, when I folded it, mine did not turn out in the order uh, that they were in the book. And so I may have done something wrong. I went back over it today and I don't know. Uh, but I, I don't think it's going to matter, I think is the point. And Brian points out in his book that uh, depending on how you fold it, the configuration on the back might be different, and, which was a sentence that I missed the first time. So I just wanted you to be aware. If your pages aren't going the way you want them to, don't despair. It's going to be okay. And these are random enough things where you can put something else on your front cover if, it, if you've already started it like mine. Now, I folded and folded this until I could get this to work the way I wanted to. But then when I fold it closed, I have this mess, right? So um, anyway, let me know how you guys did. In yesterday's uh, Tangle video, I promised that we were going to use a Tangle called Jester today, or at least I am in my design. I fell in love with it, and I really, really want to use it again. And what I think I'd like to do is another oval. I am going to do an oval. I think I'm going to make the outside a squared edge instead of an oval shape and oval the inside of it. And I am going to try, now again, I have not practiced this and I should have, but I'm going to attempt to put um, some kind of writing in the middle of this. I'm gonna keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it to one or two words and make it short. I may just put dingbats in there. That might work really well. Okay, so, so far, I'm going to do it at this angle, and I think you'll be able to see it all. So far, I have just squared off the edges, right? Uh, mm, I didn't do a very good job squaring this one off, did I? And that's why we pencil these. There we go. Okay. So now on the inside of this, I'm going to round these edges off and form my oval. If I may have gotten that too high, let's see. Mm. I'd like that to be a little skinnier on top. That's just me. You make it however you want. This can be a complete, if you want to do a triangle, go for it. If you want to do a circle, you have my blessing. 
make it whatever you want it to be. This is supposed to be relaxing and fun and a learning exercise. And since I'm all about those things, we're going to have a good time. Uh, okay, here I am here. I uh, did it again, didn't I? Right there. And then... Okay, today I'm going to draw in my frame first. And I am going to do my frame in brown, as we did the other day. And I'm using my Figma Micron 01 in brown. And... Uh, I am going to put some kind of a texture in this and I think I'm just going to do straight lines all the way across to give it a little bit of a, a feel to it. I don't know if that's a good way to put it, but I'm going with it. Now I'm going to let my, my shakiness go ahead and do its thing. I didn't mean to pick up my pen there, but I didn't have to. Okay. Um, Try to draw this down. This is not what I'm good at. But I get lots of that wiggly stuff, so that's all right. If you get out of your lines, don't fret. It's going to work out. All right. And... This is definitely a push out day for me and not a pull in. Do you guys ever have that happen where some days when you pull your pin towards you, you're more sturdy uh, or more stable and when you push it out, some days it's better. I am definitely less in control when I pull down towards me and that is strange because normally that is the opposite. Is when you put pull towards you, that is usually a way of stabilizing your pen strokes but for me today it's pushing out all right so I'm going to do a vague proximity of my penciled lines here I am not going to worry about getting this frame perfect I'm going to take Brian's advice and enjoy the hand-drawn quality of this. Did I just mess up? No, Cindy, you have an opportunity for something new here. And that's what we're going to do. Because that's how we roll. Well, I'm just going to do this long on the other side. And come up here to meet this. And up here, I'm going to go ahead and make it a little thinner. So, in the end, I didn't get this all. In the end, I have this. Okay. Now, I'm going to do my... Um, horizontal lines to fill this up and I'm going to let them wiggle and I'm going to leave gaps as I go just to make it seem a little bit more interesting I'm just gonna lift my pen at intervals and I'm gonna keep my pressure on it really light if my hand starts to wiggle I'm just gonna let me go and do my wiggling Oops. I don't want to have my highlights or gaps in the same spot, so I do want to try to bury that. Mm. Oh, I'm having trouble with my line consistency, but again, that's okay. 
I am not going to worry about it. I've got so many other things in life that I can worry about. So worrying about my straight lines or my line consistency is a silly thing. I am just going to go with it. I'm going to try to keep them about the same. I'm not going to sweat it. And usually when I'm preaching to you like this, this is me preaching to me, not preaching to you. I am not any better than anybody else and probably worse than a lot. And that's okay with me. I am happy with where I'm at in my artistic walk. I think it's important to give yourself time to figure that out. And it is. Take your time in life. Enjoy it as you go. It is short. Cherish each happy moment that you have. Put it in your memory uh, wallet in your brain. Pull it out, dust it off regularly, and enjoy it. I have learned that the moments in life where I, where I have that silly grin on my face, those are the moments I want to remember forever. And I have also found that if you will take a mental snapshot of moments that you have in life, and I have done this many, many times over the years, it works. Make yourself pause in that moment that you are feeling that way and take a snapshot of it in your mind and think, I'm going to remember this this way forever. And you will. I mean... I forget a lot of insignificant stuff. I lose my glasses and my tortillons regularly, as you all know. Thank you for loving me anyway. But, you know, I, I remember the moments that I have put in my, in my file cabinet in my brain. And if they're good moments, I want to remember them. I'm just going to finish up this side. Uh -oh. Simba saying hey. Simba, quit saying hey, bud. Simba saying hey to Max today. What's up, Max? How you doing today, buddy? How's karma? And Brody and Bunny. How are y'all doing? Woof. I get a little crazy with the dog stuff. I understand that. I have had no cat lovers get hit me up with pictures of their kitties. I know you're out there. Don't be afraid. I promise it's going to be alright. Simba's not going to get you. As long as you're out of state, you're okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing. Kitties are wonderful creatures. They really are. I just tend to be more of a dog person. I have had both in my life. I love both of them. Cats are very singular creatures. They are about themselves. Some of them. Some of them are very, very snuggly and sweet. I love the fact that dogs are about you. They're all about you. They're not usually about themselves, even. They're just about you. You are their world, their happiness, their joy, and something about that just sings with me. So, I have had dogs for a long, long time now. I love them. They are such a good thing for mental health. But I will say this, if you cannot handle a dog, please do not get one. If you cannot handle a big dog, please do not get a big dog puppy. I have volunteered in too many shelters 
with so many cages filled with big dogs that are just too much trouble for somebody to take. I take that very seriously. Anyway, that was my soapbox for today. Now, I probably will go through here and put some line weight in around the center. Let's add Jester and see how that goes. All right. So, I loved this tangle from the video yesterday. I'm going to start on what will be the bottom of it. And I'm going to start with these cute, cute little tendrils like this. Let's see if I can keep this in frame. And you can make these look however you want to. One of the charming things about this tangle is, is um, that you can make them long and short in whatever way you like. I find it's fun to add interest by pointing them in different directions. You can make them go straight up and down, or you can put a curve in them. I will say that, that my favorite effects with this are, are um, achieved with curves. Oh, I'm just not drawing that direction very well today. It's all right. I'm drawing this way. All right. Um, let's try this a different way. Much better. And I'm going to put a long one over here. And I just went a little bit crazy with these, because I can. So let's put our horizontal lines in and see what we end up with. So I'm going to stop right here and stop right here. So, and I don't want my sections to be too big. I do want this to have a curve in it, because I am me and I love the curvy stuff. And I think I'm going to put one more in there. The only thing you want to do, oh, you don't even have to do that. I was going to say follow your curve, but you don't even have to do that if you don't want to. You can make uh, these middle lines as, as crazy as you want. All right, so I don't think, hmm, okay, I think I'm going to put a couple more here. And... We'll do some here, and I'm just going to go all wonky with it and see what happens, because, again, I can. Um, all right. And I hope you guys will not feel like you have to do what I do and do your own thing, whatever makes you happy. And there, one more here. I don't want to do there. Uh, this will be fun. And that's and this. All right, that's where I'm going to leave it. How fun. Okay, I'm going to put my checks in now. I'm going to black every other square and do it in a checkerboard fashion. So whatever method you want to use to achieve that, you can. Or if you want to use a different tangle, I suggest you do so. This should be about fun and what you want. In art, you know, in life you have so little control over so many things. And in art you have ultimate control. And so let your heart be your guide. Let your creativity guide you to do whatever you want and if it's not the same as me even better more power to you and if you want to copy something I've done fine awesome do it um, it's nice if you give me a, a um, 
shout out when you do that if you give me props or whatever you want to call that why can i never think when i'm talking to you guys <laughs> well there are a lot of answers to that question let's just not get into them today so things are going pretty well here at home i have a cute video of simba to upload for you guys i'm trying to figure out how that will fit into anything I thought I could upload videos to my community posts, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So, if I can't, then I won't. That's alright. But I have a really cute video. I may put it on Instagram of me and Simba uh, taking a ride. Short, short ride. Just a couple of minutes long. And uh, sharing about our trials with the neighbor down the street that calls the police on us constantly because Simba's a dog. Well, he's a Rottweiler. Uh, hopefully I did this right. I got ahead of myself, and that's always bad for me. That's how you make mistakes and stuff like this. So I need to slow it down. Oh, wait, no singing. Okay. I am once again enjoying my blocking process. And that is a joy, since I am usually in a great big hurry. You may be able to see, I don't know if the light's right for it, but you may be able to see on this particular paper the wet spots. Um, that the ink leaves and they just need a second to dry so uh, normally this doesn't smear but when you're laying down a lot of ink in one spot you just really want to be careful uh, not to brush over it too quickly and of course if you're using a tortillon for shading you want to avoid these areas if you can all right so i think i've got that one and this one I think this is going to be so cute. Simba has a chew bone, so if you hear some chomping, that's what's going on here. His day is bright when he has something to chew on. My kiddo is in there watching YouTube, making gagging sounds and laughing out loud. He makes me, he makes me smile sometimes. He's so funny. All right. All right, and here, we're making good progress. I say. Half of y'all have already clicked off, so that's okay. I know who stays to the end, and I appreciate y'all. I really don't know who does, but I have my suspicions. Lynn, and Lawanya, and Sue, and all y'all. I know who you are. Amelia, and Annabelle, and Lynn. Uh, the other Lynn, my other Lynn. I have two lens. Carrie and Patricia. Marietta from Athens. So many of y'alls, I hate to I hate to name names because then I forget a lot of important people and I wanna apologize right now to every single one of you that I forgot. Rebecca. My Swiss, German, and friends from Kuala Lumpur, Colombia, and Brazil. I was looking at my country list today on my analytics. It is crazy how many countries are watching this channel. Pumps me up. I love that. Okay, so this is the bottom 
of my little frame. Isn't that cute? I put my little decorative balls here. I may come back with my jelly roll and, and give those a little uh, highlight later. I haven't decided yet. I love that look. These are just the cutest things. I put one on the side there. I just love this. Isn't this just fun? I know what you're thinking. I'm easily entertained. And you are right. I am absolutely easy to entertain. Give me a pen and a paper and I am fine to go. All right. All right. That is a little ball heavy or orb heavy for me, but it's okay. I like it. It's definitely cute and fun. So now the question is... I really want to put another one of those, or do I want to do something different up here? Let's think about this for a minute. I really love Jester. It would be nice for, yeah, I think I'll do another Jester. I think I'll do it slightly different and do, do one long here. I'm going to make the curves a lot more um, straight. <laughs> Don't repeat that I said that. Don't tell people. I'm going to make my curves more straight. Now, I'm going to make them less curvy, I say, as I make it more curvy. Okay. It's all right. Whatever I do is going to be fine. It's going to work out. These aren't quite as... Let's call them dynamic. What do you think? These are not quite as dynamic as my last round, but that's okay. I like it. And I think I'm going to stop. I think I'm going to stop farther away from the outside here and just have this little bit in the middle coming down. Okay? And so, let's see. Now I can do these stripes also straight across if I want to, but of course I don't. <laughs> so I'm gonna start right here. And then I'm going to go at that from that direction. I think I'm going to skip this just for fun and take this one all the way up to the top. There. I like it. All right. Let's stripe this bad boy. I'll speed it up for you. Don't worry. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to leave you today. Tomorrow, we're going to finish up adding a word and shading and highlighting, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So I'll see you then.